As the name implies, the core or the starter of this base is just a 2x1. If you have an existing 2x1, it will work almost guaranteed as long as you have your airlock on the sides and not on the ends. I'm going to build mine from scratch as you can see I'm doing right here. I decided to put my airlock on the left, but you can do it on the right if you prefer. Now for the TC placement, you should put it in the back right or mirror it if you have the airlock in the other direction. You can fit your tier 1 and eventually a tier 2 right there. And you can fit three furnaces along this wall right here. You can fit two bags right here for the time being. Now we're going to put some boxes down in our main core loot room. You can put one in this back corner right here and another one right in front of the TC like this. Now we're going to go to the outside of the base and build a jump up like this. You can then place a triangle through the wall, just like that. And then you can upgrade that to stone. This is going to be your little shelf. You can add two more large boxes on it like this. I like to put a large box temporarily right there to help me place this one down easier. And then you can fit a small box right here. You can also fit another bag right here and another one in the airlock. Sometimes placing it like this can be difficult, so I'd recommend going back into the core and just placing it with the door open. We're going to start our expansion by building two triangles off the airlock and surrounding that with walls. You can use furnaces for your jump up or you can just build a normal one. I like to build furnaces just because there's not a lot of space for them elsewhere in the base. Now build our door on the top. And then temporarily you can just build that to jump up and get into your base. Now once you're ready, we can start expanding, build triangles on all sides that aren't already covered, upgrade those to stone, and you can start honeycombing it. Leave those front ones empty for now, and this is going to be our entrance like this. Again right here you can either have furnaces or just a half height triangle for your jump up. And you're going to fill in with the wall frames right there. Now we're going to surround the rest of the base with walls to build the second floor. On this end, I like to put a vending machine into the wall right here. And then for both of these sides, you have two triangles, and I like to turn these both into loot rooms. Now we're going to cover up the rest of the ceiling and build your jump up. Now that we're in the core, I'm going to assume you have garage doors by now. You can do this at any point if you don't. Add your garage door in the core, you can replace everything you need to pick it up. Instead, I'm going to expand right to the lockers and tier 3. This is going to be kind of the final stage of your core.
fit a large box underneath the tier three. And you can fit another small box right there. You can build the area that holds the door on the jump up to the roof. I'm going to start building the shooting floor. Shooting floor should look like this when it's done. And you go ahead and upgrade that all to stone. We're going to add windows to all of the sides facing outwards. And then your door frames. Remember that all the doors swing to the right, so keep that in mind when you're placing down your door frames. I'd recommend testing them with twig if you don't know what you're doing to make sure the doors open the right way and stop people from jumping into your shooting floor. Once that's done, you can start building your roof to the shooting floor. Some of the tiles will break right when you try to place them, but it's okay. They will eventually work. You might have the issue that I have right here that you're going to need to add a door frame to stabilize that last piece. You might need to do it on this side depending on how you built your shooting floor. Before you upgrade, make sure you take into account where you want your jump up. I'm putting mine just across from the jump up to get up to the roof. And you can add a garage door right here. You can upgrade all the twig on your roof. and build the top of your jump up to the top of your roof. Now you can just put our roof tiles on and you're gonna realize quickly that you don't have enough stability to build it all. So you're gonna to need to go back to your shooting floor and put double door frames throughout the shooting floor as I do here. With those in place, you should be able to put all your roof pieces down and it's very simple, all you need are the square roofs and just put them around the outline of the main core. Just like this. Go ahead and upgrade all of those to stone. And now back in our core, we're gonna upgrade these top two tiles to HQM. I'd recommend doing this as soon as possible because that is the two most important tiles of the base and will keep you from getting raided easily. And once you have your materials, you can upgrade the rest of your core to high fall. You're probably going to have to pick up some of your bags to upgrade the foundations to HQM, but make sure you remember this step because the foundations are very important. You can replace your bags. And we're going to upgrade this triangle to sheet metal as well, just because that's the cheapest new path to raid after that's all HQM. And I'm going to do the rest of this here as well. Now all that's left to do is upgrade these last two walls to sheet metal and the base is complete. 